they will find you. There is nowhere to hide. Everything is about to change. A hero will rise. Hello everyone, it's Technic Pac-Bond. Welcome back to AMPS. So, basically today we are going to get our operation set up. So let's make that a reality. First things first, let's uh, turn off our, our chat. Bye bye chat. Okay, cool. So let's retrieve some of our items that we left here from last episode. Um, also, I finished the extension on the house. Oh, quite good. Okay, so this texture pack is working. So I got that and the insulated cabling. So we should be able to make the generator now. The coal, coal generator. Wonderful. So it's going to require a motor, which is four steel, one iron, four copper wires. So we should have some iron in here. And if we don't have all the iron in here, we probably have some back home. So let's uh, go ahead and go there real quickly. Hmm. Okay, we do not have iron then. I guess I'll need to smelt up some. Good to know. Good to know. So I'll go ahead and smelt up a few pieces of iron right there so that we can start work on our coal generator. Oh yeah. Okay, so that should be enough to make the engine. Sweet! Okay, so there is our engine. We're going to need simply some cobblestone. And now we put the furnace in the middle, surround it with steel, engine on the bottom, bam a wham! We have a coal generator. So this coal generator is going to go down in our awesome room here. And I'm going to put it right here. And now the coal generator needs something to pump into, which is going to be a battery box. Now the battery box requires three batteries, which need to be made with five tin each and one redstone and one coal. The only problem is we are definitely undersupplied on coal. And I believe that our redstone is back home. Yes, okay, good. So we have the redstone it requires. Uh, here's some tin. I'll go ahead and take that with me as well as this. Okay, quite good. Now, what do we need next? We're going to need a battery, which means we're going to need to smelt this tin. However, I believe that we can make a furnace first. So let's go ahead and make ourselves an electric furnace that is going to require an advanced circuit, which is one diamond, and then some motor. So we are actually going to need to make some more insulated wiring, which should require wool, which we should have in this chest right here, I thought. Oh no, I know where it is. It's in this chest. Very good, there's our wool. Okay, so we need to make insulation. Which I believe we make like so. Great. Let's make two insulation. We'll grab some copper. And start that thing's smelting process. Because all we need is like three pieces of copper. 
Uh, now we have plenty of iron. We want to save this for pulverizing. So let's get some copper going on here. Are we going to need six insulation? I can never remember. Yes, we're going to need six insulation. Okay, joy. Um, that means we need to go harvest some more wool from our sheepy sheep. So let's get some wheat and head down there and make that happen. Now, I can't remember, did I put it in our... No, I did not. Okay, so I'll also grab some carrots because I'm quite hungry. And we are also going to need a pair of shears, which should be back in this chest. Great. So let's run out here real quickly and shear some sheep. Oh, that's how they all got out. Okay, so it was a creeper incident. I was wondering how I lost, like, all my cows. And, uh... It appears all my sheep are still perfectly intact, so that's quite good. Now we will feed all of these people to make them sweet, sweet loving. No! Are you kidding me? Seriously, are you kidding me? Not again. No, 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 no. Get back in there. No, no, no. Are you kidding me? These creepers, they're ridiculous. I'm done with this. I'm so done with this. Get back in there. Get in there. There we go. Okay, well, unfortunately, looks like we just get to plug this hole here. No, 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 no. I will murder you, sheep. Actually, I am going to murder you, sheep. And I'm going to take your wool. Shear these bad boys down here. Actually, let's shear everyone in here. These creepers are unbelievable. Move. Move, sheep. Move. There we go. No. No. Get down. There. All right. So that should be all we need to make this a reality. The copper should be done smelting. Fantastic. It is, in fact, done. Now we need to take the copper down the middle. The insulation on each side. And I did it wrong. Okay, cool. So now we have some more insulated. Uh, now, to make our motor, all we need is one iron, four steel, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Okay, great. Now, to make more steel, we are going to need to make iron surrounded by coal. Unfortunately, that's not going to get us enough. So, it looks like... I'm gonna have to go coal mining, unfortunately. As ridiculous as that is. Uh, let's run down here real quickly and see if we can't find some real quick. And if it's not fast, then I will leave you guys and come back. But it shouldn't be too hard to find coal. I mean, geez, it's just coal for crying out loud. It's not rocket science, it's just coal. Okay, quite good. So this should be all we need uh, in the way of coal. Also, it'll give us some more XP, not that we need any more, considering we have 35. Okay, cool. Here's a bit more coal. Actually, this place is just infested with coal, so that's, that's actually quite good, uh, to be honest. And now that I know that my texture pack is... No, no, no. No. Unbelievable. These stupid freaking creepers. They're everywhere. It's ridiculous. All 
Alright, so we will gather up this coal and then we'll head back. I cleverly forgot my shovel. There we are. I do realize that this is a bit dark, and I apologize for that, but I simply can't afford to waste coal on torches right now, as essential as steel is. Now where... Where is my exit out of this place? I always forget. Um, oh, right, it's up here. Okay, fantastic. No, no, no. You are getting taken down, you son of a gun. There we go, gotcha. Now, that said, we should be able to take this coal surround our iron and I would like to think that this will be enough to get what we need so we'll put that in there put that in there now this is going to require more insulated actually this is going to require two so we need eight more insulation uh, unfortunately. Now, there's got to be another way to make insulation. Is there? Yes. Okay, so we can smelt leather. Now, we had a bunch of cows. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't appear that there are any left. So, I'm going to go on a cow hunt, get some leather. I'll be back. All right, so I went and I got some leather. I also found some extra coal that was uh, nicely sitting in the um the chest waiting for us so that's quite good so we're going to smelt this up we're going to convert these into insulation as well and now this isn't quite enough to make what we need now apparently we can make copper wire just like that so I'm going to grab my copper, which I just had here somewhere. Oh, there it is. It's right there. And then I can individually insulate as needed, which is probably what's going to end up being my best bet. Okay, so now we have eight again. Uh, I should be able to make the last few things that we're going to need now. Uh, these things are going to be a basic circuit, so we need a plate. Now it needs to be either bronze or steel, so it looks like it's going to be steel, meaning we're actually going to need to throw some more, we'll make some more, and then throw some more steel into the thing. So this is going to require lots of steel, and all I need is none of that, actually. Okay, so I'll put that here, these around, this in the middle, make some more steel, and toss the steel into here for smelting. All right, now we need to make two steel plates. Great. And now we need to take the steel plates, surround them with redstone, and great. All right, now, here's where things get a bit more tricky. We need to take this, surround those with diamond and redstone. Or I guess I shouldn't say tricky, uh, rather expensive. Okay, so there we are. We have an advanced circuit. Now, what are we going to need to make this? We're going to need seven steel. Uh, other than that, we have everything we need. Okay, cool. So we do. We have it all. So let's go ahead and make it right now. 
That's heavy duty leggings, but no, we do not want that. Put the advanced circuit in the middle, the motor on the bottom, and bam, we have an electric furnace. Now what I want to do is I want to take this and the insulation that I made, I want to insulate um, a few of these. I'm going to insulate three, to be exact. And, okay, good. Now, the other thing that I'm wanting, options, multiplayer, commands only, is... Why are people's chat showing up? This is ridiculous. Multiplayer, hidden, there. Okay, so, uh, now, what I want as well is a battery box. And battery box, batteries and batteries, okay, tin, that's right. So did I smelt the tin while I was gone? No, I forgot to, darn it. Um, okay, so I need to smelt this tin. So I will start that on smelting, because we're gonna need tin and coal to make the batteries. And the battery box itself is gonna need six steel. Uh, so that said, we should take this iron and convert it into steel as well because we have none left. So that's the steel. Uh, we actually need more iron smelted up too. So we're gonna put this into here and add a few extra coal just to make sure it gets smelted. And then these tin ingots are going to smelt as well. But while that's happening, let's go ahead and hook up our generator. So, in the meantime, we're just going to hook them up directly, but momentarily, we will actually have a battery box between the two. Now, I'm not exactly sure the efficiency difference, but I'm pretty sure that this is much more efficient than just using a furnace, per se. Uh, now, there should be a good amount of coal. Some there it is. Okay, so there's our coal. Now, actually, I want to discontinue the iron smelting because I did not need that much. And I want to take it down here because this is more of a universal charge. Now I'm only gonna put in one or two, and then I'm gonna put in some ore, and we'll see if it charges up. Oh great, it does. Awesome. So this guy is going to charge up and directly output into our electric furnace. And at some point, it should start smelting. Hopefully. Its status is idle, however. So, my concern is that it has to have a battery in between the two of them. And in that case, we are going to need lots of tin. Okay, so there's one battery. We're going to need a few more. Two batteries. And this should be enough for three. There we are. Okay, so we have our three batteries. Now I want to take our steel that we smelted and I want to surround the batteries with steel, and that should give us our battery box. Great. Okay, good, good, good. Now, I want to break this up right here, and let's see if it is in fact charging. We may need a wrench, but let's give this a go. Okay, so it appears I need to place it from this direction. Is that correct? Yes, red is the input. And now, as soon as the hull heats up, it should start receiving power. Okay, good, good, good. Now that that is receiving power, the electric furnace should receive it as well. Okay, so the electric furnace is receiving the power, but it's just sucking it all up. It's not its not even being used. Oh, I see. Okay, so how much 
does it take to smelt? Uh, let's try one. Okay, there we go. Now it's smelting. Awesome. Okay, so now that that is smelting, we can work on other forms too. So one of those forms would be generator, would be a heat generator. Now that uses enriched alloys, enriched iron, and osmium. The enriched alloys are made with iron and redstone. So let's go ahead and make some of that. Also, let's take a moment, sit down, eat a carrot. Because, you know, after all, we are a rabbit. Okay, I'll put this extra coal in here. Now that that is done smelting, we're gonna smelt up this because we want a heat generator. And we're going to need enriched iron and enriched alloys to make this. So we're gonna need two enriched alloys and one enriched iron. Three osmium, two iron, and a redstone. So as soon as one more of these comes out, we're golden. Okay, cool. So that was actually a bit of a bug there because it did not show it accurately. Um, now, what do we need next? We're going to need the osmium, which we should have upstairs. However, if possible, I would like to make a crusher. Now the crusher is made with two buckets of lava, two control circuits, which is osmium, and four redstone, and steel casing. Steel casing, osmium, steel ingots. Okay, quite good. So we should actually be able to make that. We're going to need a few extra steel, uh, but I think that we can swing that. We are just going to need some coal. Some more coal, as a matter of fact. So I'm going to go get some of that and we'll be ready to continue momentarily. All right, everyone, so we are back. Uh, let's make up a little bit more steel. Uh, if I remember correctly, that is what we were in need of. I have one steel currently in my inventory and I believe I need three more. So I'll run down here, grab the last iron that just finished <laughs> smelting and we should be all set. Now the next thing that needs to smelt is osmium. So I'll go ahead and put that into the furnace to cook away. So while that smelts, let's finish off this here. We need one, just one more, I believe. Uh, yes, that's all we're gonna need, just one more. And that's it. Okay, great. So now we can smelt this down here because I would assume that the osmium is already done. Oh wow, it's finishing up right now, cool. And we will put that in there to smelt that. Just one more. Okay, fantastic. Now I'm getting tired of running up and down, so I'm going to turn this into a crafting table real quickly. Awesome. And I'll put that down right there. Okay, so crusher is control circuit, which is enriched alloy. Now we're going to need two of those. And you surround those with osmium so we're actually going to need more unfortunately so i gotta go grab the rest of our osmium more if i don't already have it in my inventory okay great and we're going to have to smelt up quite a bit of this give you some more coal
so the steel casing is steel around osmium. And I can, in fact, do that. Okay, cool. So the steel casing is done. Uh, now we're going to need one more of these. Enriched alloy surrounded with osmium. Okay, good. Osmium. Enriched alloy. Okay, great. Now that should be all we need of the osmium. I'll let this last one finish. And I want to run upstairs and grab our lava buckets real quickly. We are going to need two. I also want to insulate a few more of these. Alright, so we should have everything we need to make this now. Redstone in each corner. Control circuits on each side, lava buckets on the top and the bottom, and steel casing in the middle. Okay, great, so now we have our crusher. The crusher is gonna go down right here next to, no, actually, that was, that was stupid. Why wouldn't the crusher just go right next to the furnace? I was dumb. Okay, so this is gonna go right here. The crusher is gonna go right down next to it. Now, if we want to start crushing things, what are we gonna be looking at for power? Okay, so apparently iron cannot be crushed but copper can? Is that correct? What can and can't be crushed? Oh, right. Okay, I know what else we need. We need a metallurgic infuser. Okay, so here's our metallurgic infuser. That's two furnaces, two control circuits, one enriched alloy. So the control circuits, again, osmium, so we're gonna need to... Can I crush osmium? No, I cannot. Now if I put osmium in here... And then I smelt it. That's a good question. Well, it makes just make dust. Okay, so all it makes is dust. Uh, one dust, to be exact. And then that's probably going to smelt right back into an ingot. Yes. Okay. So, that said, we have... Uh, okay, so let's, let's just put this right... Uh, We'll put this over here. Okay, and now we need one, two, three, four, one in the middle. And then we're gonna need one more. And two furnaces, which we have an abundance of upstairs. And we'll just fill this in with cobblestone like so. Okay, one more. Come on, you can do it. Okay, fantastic. Now we want to pull out the rest of this. Take this. Osmium. Enriched alloy. Control circuit. Four iron. Two control circuits. Two furnaces. And an are you freaking kidding me? Wow, that's, that's unfortunate. Okay, so, enriched alloy, iron, control, and where'd it go? Furnaces. That is our metallurgic infuser. Now we are going to put that down next to everything else. Not before wiring 
it in. Okay, great. Now, we should be able to do, like, orb stuff. Now, we're going to need something inside, and honestly, I can't remember what it is. That's right, it works on charcoal, is that correct? No, okay, so it'll take coal too. And I'm trying to remember exactly what it does. So this is the combiner, but that's not it. We are using the metallurgic infuser. So apparently we can also turn this enriched iron into steel, which allows us to use redstone and iron instead of coal and iron. That's quite cool. Now, how much steel will a steel dust make? I realize the texture is quite screwed up. Okay, so that will only make one steel, though. Hmm. Oh, okay, I see now. So this actually is used for making, like, bronze and stuff. Okay, cool. Now, last but not least, I want to make a heat generator. Three osmium. Let's make that happen. Two enriched alloys. One. Two. Three. All right, now I want to swap that out for the enriched alloy. We're actually going to need to make one more enriched alloy, which should just be iron and redstone. Okay, good. All right, now we should have everything we need for this as well. Osmium, enriched alloy. Is it two iron? Oh, darn it, it's two iron. Okay, so just a hair shy. Uh, now, I could have sworn that the crusher is how you made iron dust. How does one make iron dust? Oh, you use an enrichment chamber. All right, so we'll get the enrichment chamber done uh, for next episode. Um, however, we do have a crusher, so that's good, because I know that we are going to need some things crushed. Uh, however, that was a bit premature. Uh, now I need to smelt one iron to get our heat generator so that we can stop using, uh, whatchamacallit, coal. Alright, so apparently the lava can spawn fires around and can burn our cables. So we're going to dig through this wall right here. Because I want this to link up to the main supply. And we're just going to put it back here. So we should have everything we need to make our heat generator now. Iron on the bottom. Redstone in the middle, enriched alloy, enriched iron, 
and osmium. Okay, great. So there's our heat generator. Now, we need to go grab one of our buckets of lava from upstairs. Upstairs! Upstairs, upstairs. I don't know why I'm talking like this. And take that down here and put that right there. All right, now we're going to put the heat generator down. We're going to hook up the copper wire. And this thing should be outputting, I would like to think. Now, what I don't understand is that it should totally be outputting right now, and yet it's not. Or maybe it is. No, it is. Okay, cool. So, actually, we would probably be better to surround it with lava. So let's, let's get rid of that one. We'll put this here. And we will break these blocks that are around it and we'll put the lava behind it and maybe that'll help us generate more because that would be quite good yes okay cool so that totally worked uh, now that said let's go ahead and seal this up for safety's sake and now we are generating 15 joules that's awesome Okay, so now that we have that done, this coal generator isn't quite so important. However, we will totally hold on to it because we will definitely use it. You know, I'll just leave it there. Now I can seal up this, which is quite good and uh, cleans it up quite a bit. And we will work on the enrichment chamber next time, but I feel like we got a lot done in one episode. Uh, correction, we did get a lot done in one episode. So congratulations to me for staying focused. This should really almost be considered a beginner volts tutorial. Uh, I'll see you guys next time, except this isn't volts, this is amps, so it really should be considered a beginner amps tutorial. Anyway, I've been taking Pack Mod. Thanks so much for watching. Our Yogcraft server is coming back up as soon as our domains are registered, which, uh, currently is pending, which is really painful because I want to put our web uh, site on there and I want to get our server back up, but I can't do that without DNS. Uh, I might just post the IP because I do have the server itself uh, back up. Also, our website, tvmgaming.com slash blog. Follow my Twitter, at TechPackMod. If you guys enjoyed, a comment leaving your feedback would be great. It always helps me improve my videos and also likes and sharing and favorites are much appreciated i've been ticketing back bond this has been amps on barbie craft i'll see you guys next time good boy also a uh, side note i will be releasing an amps texture pack patch for sfax uh, soon enough it's a pack of all of the uh, amps textures that i used to make my sfax pack and i will make sure that it is complete to the best of my ability uh, all this has right now is the basic components. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>